Uganda's digital skills gap remains a concern, with the Uganda Bureau of Statistics reporting that fewer than 10% of students in rural areas have access to computers or basic ICT training. This year's theme, The Future of Robots, has inspired students to develop innovative robotic solutions, showcasing the potential of young Ugandans in tech innovation. The championship also serves as Uganda's qualifier for the global finals, marking only the second year the country is participating since joining the program. As mindset coders, we work with different schools that are open to having robotics clubs, ICT clubs, that STEM clubs that are all about project-based learning, and which is the perfect combination for the new curriculum, the competency-based curriculum, where they are building projects, they are working as a team, they are researching and learning different ways in a more practical way. Through bridging the dig to divide program, MTN Uganda and its partners train students and teachers from 10 selected schools in robotics, coding and artificial intelligence. Eight of these schools, drawn from the districts of Bujiri, Gulu and Kalangala, made their debut in this year's competition. Most of these schools that are underserved, are, they are not aware of these competitions. They are not well uh, equipped with infrastructure like internet and infrastructure, which MTN has addressed. However, we would want to boost their utilization of, this, of these tools by exposing them to uh, tools like AI and other advanced tools so that they can um, develop prototypes that are competitive on the, on the world market. Students express their readiness to use robotics knowledge for social solutions and humanitarian tasks. Not only international schools can be here. We also non-private schools can be here and we can showcase our skills of learning that we can also be one of those big people one day. I think there are very many issues around the world and we always need someone to solve those issues. So when they called me for coding I was very happy. I didn't know what it was but I was happy and when I found out what it was I was even more happier because I would love to solve different issues in the society. Participating schools included Kansanga State Secondary School, Nakasuro Primary School, Chitante Primary School, St. Andrew Kagwa's Secondary School, among others. Charity Marion Imnat and Chris Pasarinitwe for UBC News.